Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be going through my February favorites. It is Pisces season, my friends. My birthday is March 7th, so it is coming around the corner. I'm a Pisces and here we are. It is my time of the year. If you're a Pisces, let me know. I feel you, we are the same. So today we're gonna be going through my favorites. Life has been crazy, which is why I'm just wearing a Patagonia right now. Um, I'm filming this before work, but holy crap, like things have just been happening. Planning my wedding. Um, we are going to be buying a house. We are gonna be selling our house like within a month. Hopefully, we have to get it on the market in a month. And um, I'm leaving this weekend to go wedding dress shopping in Dallas. Like, I'm just so busy. And because I'm wed going wedding dress shopping, I've been working out like crazy every day for the past two months. So, God, like, I just, relaxation it just hasn't been a thing recently. But I don't know why I'm complaining about all of this to you guys. So, yes. Let's get on to the favorites. I am super excited about all of these, so let's dive in. Okay, so I have a couple makeup items, a hair care and a skin care. So makeup. This Peach Perfect Powder by Too Faced is like from God. It is so good. Not only does it smell delicious, it kind of tastes good too. Like if you're like putting it all over your face and some flies, and if you stick your tongue out, like it tastes sweet. If you use this a lot, you'll figure it out. I'm not crazy. So the thing I love about this is it does set the face. It's not the most mattifying thing, but it just blurs your entire face. Gives such a beautiful finish. I am so obsessed with this. It is just everything and more. Um, this is just a little sample that's lasted me like a couple of weeks of like continuous use I will be buying the big guy of it, but like I oh god I just oh it's so good. And by the way, this is the mattifying one. I think it comes in like a Luminous one which this is pretty luminous to begin with um, But not too much like if you if you do need matte products like I normally do this helps like set the face but give you some blur so you don't look like a cake face or like your face is just so dry. It's, oh God, it's so gorgeous. Okay, then um, I did a new products at the drugstore video. I'll link that down below if you missed it. Um, these were two products that I talked about and they have become favorites of mine. They are both by Milani. They are their new brow products. The first one is the Precision Brow Pencil. I use it in 130 Soft Brown. It's what I have on my eyes today. Um, I would say this is a really nice combination between um, waxy and more emollient, as in like a brow pomade where it just releases a lot of pigment. These are easy to work with. It does have a spoolie on the end, which is really nice. It's drugstore, which is great. And it just has like a really nice thin tip. This is just really great if you have finicky brows because um, wherever you place it, it's where it's going to go and it's not gonna slip around and anything like that. So I really enjoy this. And then the clear brow gel is just so good. I have it on as well. It's not like you can see the clear brow gel, but I think this is very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, it really keeps things down. It It's not crunchy, but it adds that little like hairspray effect where it just keeps everything together. Really enjoy that. Now I think this is new from CoverGirl. It's the Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. I have it in waterproof. We've been through this a million times. My lashes go straight out. If I curl them, they go like that again. But I have found a trick if I use waterproof mascara, it tends to hold the curl better. Guys, I have never experienced a mascara like this. It just blew my mind. Holy crap. So it is a straight, and thinner wand. It's a um, actual like a bristle brush, not like rubber, 
which I like the bristles better than a rubber wand. This is definitely lengthening and separating. It is not volumizing at all. I've always thought the volumizing is what I want, but using this, having the length and separation and the hold that this gives, I had such beautiful lashes. Yes, I wish they looked more voluminous, but I got three out of four things. I'm missing the volume, but I got the length, I got the hold, and I got the separation. So, you know, I gotta be happy with that. I really, really enjoyed this, and I'm so happy they came out with it. Okay, my hair care item for this month is the IGK Antisocial Overnight Bond Building Dry Hair Mask. So this is really cool because it's a dry hair mask, and it's bond building. So for blondes, that's key. When you hear bond building, you kind of think of Olaplex. They have several different treatments, whether it's a shampoo, conditioner, um, masks, or like serums and all that stuff that help your ends stay healthy, especially when you have really processed blonde hair. I recently, just the other day, went even more blonde, so this is definitely gonna come in handy even more. So what I do is like three or four days out of the week, I will have my hair down. Once it starts to get greasy, I will put it up in a ponytail for like two days and then I will do my wash, which is usually on a Monday. When I am nearing the end of my hair washing cycle, like Sunday night, um, I will spray this into my hair when it's up in a ponytail, spray this all in the ends, and then you leave it, you comb it through a little bit, leave it on overnight when you sleep, and then I brush my hair out in the morning and it just looks revived and healthier. It smells really good too. I've just really been enjoying this. I can see a difference in the morning after using this. So to me, that's as good as it gets, you know? And we all know that, you know, once you have split ends, it's like a scar. They're dead, they're split. But this helps kind of glue them back together. Um, so that you it looks like you have healthy and shiny hair love it Okay, and then this bad boy to end this favorite. This is the glow recipe avocado retinol sleeping mask I love this. Oh, sorry avocado melt retinol sleeping mask. Excuse me The melt is actually very important. So this is diff very different but somewhat similar to their watermelon mask watermelon mask is very um, goopy and liquidy you can even see it kind of running down your face sometimes this is like a bomb which I've never had this texture in a mask it is super thick you can see that and you can use this two ways or even three ways I found a third way so you rub it on and it is kind of like a melt so it just rubs on like a bomb almost like a um, what do you call them a makeup melter that's like a thick balmy texture and it becomes a little bit emollient on the skin so that you can rub it around so what you can do is you can just do a thick layer all over the face like a mask you would leave on for like I don't know 15 minutes or something like that or you can take a smaller amount rub it in um, almost all the way and use it as the sleeping mask. What I did, and I did this last night and I love the results, I did a full mask, left it on for 20 minutes. Right before I went to bed, I wiped off like half of it and then rubbed the rest in my skin. So I had a lot on and then I slept with a little bit on. And this morning, my skin looked bright. It looked really plump and hydrated and it just oh god it just looked dewy it, it looked fantastic so the difference between this and the watermelon mask i feel like the watermelon mask does give you hydration but it makes your skin super soft um supple but i think this gives a little bit of a deeper hydration because it does have that thicker balm texture i love both i need both in my life they are so good but like this one i'm Oh God, mm, love it, so good. Okay guys, that is everything for my favorites for February. I hope you guys had a great month and I hope you have a great March. I know I will. 
my birthday, a little bit of relaxation, but a whole lot of crazy with moving and all that kind of stuff. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.